Today's topic is on pain, mind, and painkillers. Have you wondered why some people have a higher tolerance towards pain, whereas some, even when they don't have that much pain, will whine and ask for painkillers? Personally, pain is a subjective matter, but I think the most excruciating experience comes when a mother is about to give childbirth. So be grateful to your mom. They are the reason for your existence. Whatever you do after is your creation, heaven or hell. Can you build tolerance to pain? The answer is absolutely. You can see it amongst athletes, army personnel, monks, or anyone who has control over their mind and body. Look at kids. When they fall, they bounce right back. They feel pain, but the joy of doing the activity they are in will make them forget it. Don't get me wrong. Pain isn't a bad thing. If we don't feel pain, most of us will die off young. Since I have an active lifestyle, over the years, I have bounced back from many injuries. I have had broken shoulders, rolled ankles, bruised knees, and one time I had all four of my wisdom teeth removed. Yet I have never taken any painkillers. That does not mean I don't feel pain, it's just that I have trained my mind and body. I do agree, not everyone can do it. There are injuries which are chronic, so if the pain gets too much, certain painkillers are required. For acute pain, I lean towards 5000 year old recipe, Eastern recipe, which involves mixing turmeric ginger, black pepper, ghee which is clarified butter, and honey or jaggery in warm milk for anti-inflammation and speedy recovery. Let's go into science. Turmeric comes from a flowering plant, Curcuma longa. It is a spice that is commonly used in cooking and has been used for thousands of years for its medicinal properties. The root of turmeric, also known as the rhizome, is where the active ingredient curcumin is found. Curcumin is known for its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties which can provide a range of health benefits here we have a root of turmeric it's in its enol form it's more energetically stable so this is your enol form and when you turn it into turmeric powder that's where you get keto form it happens through tautomerization in this where that oxygen will form that double bond and this double bond next to it is going to grab a hydrogen after that, deprotonation happens and then you get those ketone forms. So this is those ketones and here you have that enol form. Since the enol form is prone to degradation, hence it is essential to maintain curcumin in keto form. In polar and acidic medium, curcumin exists in keto form, whereas in non-polar and basic medium, it undergoes degradation. So if you want to consume the root of turmeric, let me warn you, it is bitter. So make a pickle out of it. I'll share the link for this traditional recipe in the comments. One study concluded that piperin increases the bioavailability of curcumin. Piperin protects curcumin from the digestive enzymes that are actively trying to remove it from the bloodstream. Therefore, when you're cooking with turmeric powder, combine it with freshly ground black pepper and oils together to boost your absorption of curcumin. So include turmeric in your diet, make some curries, and lower your dependency on pain medication. By the way, some recent studies have shown that curcumin increases the level of anandamide in the brain, a bliss molecule for happiness and mental balance.